What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, we finally did it. We got ourselves our final badge. I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to show it to you. Um, all of them are shiny right now, and except for one. So I'm going to shine it up real nice. Look at that. Real nice. I'm going to shine it up. I was very, like, I was actually amazed that you can actually shine these, uh, these things up. That's... Well, I always had the question about that whole, why does the, the whole, the badge turn dark afterwards? And it, it, apparently it collects dust, but look at that. Uh-oh. Some need shining right here. Okay, so who needs shining right here? Okay. Of course, Draven's like, focusing on the shiny. Look at that, look at that. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And this one is shiny too. So all my badges are shiny, finally. And now we can move on into the Pokemon League right here too. And before I went, before I did anything, I actually stocked up on some some items right there too. That way I don't have to like worry about going into uh, or running into trouble and anything right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go straight up to the Pokemon League like we were supposed to, and well, figure out things from there. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm not gonna miss this place at all, not one bit. Now once you enter this place right here, lady right there onto your right, she's gonna be like, "Hi trainer, do you have a minute?" And read it. I just heard it. I just heard this on the cross train receiver. There's a big storm on Route 7, and the storm seems to be different from a natural phenomenon. So strange. Now, if you go right here, actually, if you talk to this lady, Victory Road stands for whatever. Okay, so if you stand right here, you will be able to read what's going on. You can't buy anything shopping mall nine. Okay, so this will actually alert you of an activity that's actually started, and that is Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landris. I I believe it's both Tornadus and then Thunderous that come out and, you know, challenge you and all that stuff. Now, you could go to the Pokemon League right now, or you could go and check out the whole event right here. So, what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to find out what's going on right now. Of course, you know, region, there's nothing you can't buy. I think I've already fixed that up, right? I don't even know. Hold on. Let me see. May 17th. Yes, of course, it's May 17th right now, and... Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's nothing. A trainer from uh, New Vama Town challenged a, and successfully beat Drayden, the Opalicid City Gym. Okay, so it's not talking about Tornadus or Thunderous. The trembling before the Pokemon League is a tremor of excitement. That is true. Okay, so let's get the heck over here and let's get started to our next uh, adventure. And before we do anything, I gotta switch up my Pokemon right here. I actually equipped them a little bit better because we need to level up and we need to get to, uh, well, we, we, we just need to uh, be better prepared for what's gonna happen right here. Now, right here we are on Route 10, and you see three dots that look like Pokeballs and all that stuff. Remember, three dots that look like Pokeballs, not exactly all Pokeballs. And uh, what we're gonna do right here is I'm actually gonna be using a lot of Max Repels. And, well, let's see. Of course, this one happens to be a fungus and a a, Mung, a muga or a mugis or something. I don't even know. Okay, so fungus, what's up? I am not going to uh, deal with you right now. So let's go right ahead and just get the heck out of here right now. Okay, and let's go right here, and we found ourselves a full heal. So make sure to stock up on a lot of healing items, guys. Uh, best choice to not waste a whole lot of money is full restores, full heals, revives. Max re repels those kinds of stuff because there will be a lot of trainers here that you will want to battle and you will You know probably struggle at battle right here. So let's go right ahead and start this battle right now What's up? There is no end to mastering Pokemon battles That is true. That is very 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 true Okay, so as I'm recording this May 17th, I actually uploaded five episodes episodes 31 through 35 Eventually you guys see it now this is the first time I'm actually watching my Pokemon walkthroughs in quite some time. Believe it or not guys, I don't necessarily watch my Pokemon walkthroughs because I'm actually doing it right now. I'm like talking. I'm, I'm literally talking right now. And... Oh crap. That was a that was a high jump kick and... Oh! Oh wow. And yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, that, that right there was a... That was awesome right there. So now Scrafty's kicking our ass. So, let's go with Shudder and uh, show it who who really is the boss right here. Now, like I was saying, I don't really like I don't necessarily watch all my walkthroughs because I'm technically doing it right now in crap baskets. Oh my god. 
Wow. Okay, so now... <laughs> Okay, so now we're in deep shit, so let's go straight to the main weapon right here. Wow. Horrible, horrible start right here. Let's go. Uh, X scissors. And this right here takes care of that. Jesus, criminy, and all baskets and all everything. Oh, great. Okay, so she's coming out with the mind food. I'm going to be switching out right here. Let's go with Gigalith. I, I kind of feel like uh, the game like noticed that I was telling another one of my stories. Probably so, but like I was saying, I don't necessarily list or watch my walkthroughs because I'm technically playing them, so why bother? But today, I think I was pretty bored of, you know, what's going on right now. We're still in a pandemic, we're still in lockdown and all that stuff, and yeah, I'm a little bored, so I watched uh, the first three episodes, and yes, it was talking about my bur or not my burrito, but the taco incidents that, that I had. Yes, guys, I do love to eat. I do love to eat, I do love to work out. It's a good combination and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and use a revive right here. Now, there's only a limited amount of revives that you can actually get. Or max revives that you can get right here. So, I choose not to use them right now because the bigger battles are where you're going to need those max revives. And let's go right ahead and use a hyper potion onto you. And... You. Okay, so that was a uh, horrible start to this whole episode right here. And, well, actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to start off with like this. Alright, so as soon as you go a little bit further, you're going to be talking to this guy right here. What does he have to say? I survived a lot of fierce battles with my Pokemon. I don't think I will lose. You don't say. Alright, homeboy right here. I'm, I've been undefeated for quite some time. So here we go, Johan Sebastianbach wants the battle. And he is coming out with a fracture right here. So, coming with Drill Monger. Kinda thinking of maybe, maybe just maybe coming out with a dragon type Pokemon, but it's a little too late into this episode to do it. I will eventually capture a dragon type Pokemon and look at that fracture. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. One hit and look at that Drillmonger. Growing oh, HP, that's good, and it's learning Sword Stance. Let's see. Now I could take Metal Claw away, since it, really, it doesn't really need it anymore. But you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay put right here. Yeah, I'm gonna stay put. I think there's a Pokemon Relearner around here somewhere. And let's see. Excel, Excel Gore, Excel Gore. Can't even pronounce that name, but kind of sounds like a Steel Tap Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. And Hot Shot, ready to kick some ass right now. So what's up, Johan? Coming in with the, that spooky looking Pokemon right there. Let's go with the Fire Punch. And of course, this guy has to be a little faster. Of course, hence the name, Excelgore. And here we go, Fire Punch. Can it do it? Yeah, yes, it does. Fire Punch for the win. Okay. So there we go, Hot Shot level 43, Shatter does that, and Electric is coming out. And, well, I got the Pokemon just for that guy right there. I've said it quite a few times, I'll say it again. Yeah, I was going to use Electric uh, as a team member, replace Ace for it, but I kind of felt... I kind of felt like uh, Ace was a better fit for my team, rather than uh, Electric right here. And let's go with the Rock Slide. Of course, Electric does have, uh, what was it, the Levitate... Or yeah, levitate uh, effect. Very very good for a, a dragon, or not not a dragon type, but an electric type Pokemon right there. Because yeah, ground type Pokemon. Mm -mm. Ground type Pokemon, very very effective. And look at that, electric has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And well, that's that right there. So let's go ahead and continue on our, our little adventure right here. And look at that, somebody spotted us. What's up? I'm the best around here. Can you possibly ma be a match for me? Well, you say you're the best. You may say that you're the best in the world, maybe. I don't even know. And veteran Carla would like to battle, and she's coming out with Maractus. Scary looking Pokemon right here. Looks like a cactus. Probably is a cactus. I don't even know. Alright, it might be a grass type, so let's go with a poison jab. Here we go. Poison jab, and does it? Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, I do love the typings, uh, the, 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 well, not the, the vast amount of typings that I have, and oh, she's coming out with a Lomamola, 
a Pokemon's name who I'd like to say, so let's go with Ace. Stoutland from Scotland. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Uh, let's go. What's up? What's up? Okay, Loma Mola looking like two hands on a big old put like pancake or something. And here we go. Thunderbolt. And damn, nearly beats it. So here it comes with its aqua ring and all that crud. Okay, aqua ring. And well, its HP is gonna go back, but it has no shot against a thunderbolt right here. And that does it. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Righty Ace kicking ass, taking names, and look at that. Growing levels like crazy. 46. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be ready for the next Pokemon battle. And here she's gonna she's gonna be coming out with a Kragonal. Cryogonal. Cragonal. I can't even pronounce that name. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it right here, guys. Just so it can help me. I know it's kind of like, you know, trying to up my 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 uh, videos just a little, but yeah, Pokedex Pro, it will be coming onto this channel, and I probably will be doing it like day, like a daily thing. That way, you guys can see the Pokemon of the day and all that stuff. That way, it actually helps me uh, pronounce these names a little bit properly, you know. And look at that, Carla has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon because we got more battles on the way. All right, Drillmonger and Hotshot. Okay. Alrighty, so let's move on right here and, well, just take on everybody else. And oh my God, Cherubin's like, stop, Draven. Oh damn, this guy right here, not my BFF. Oh, there's my, there's my Biffle, my best friend for life. Draven and Professor Juniper told me you're heading there for the Pokemon League, right? Yup. Since it's Alder, since it's the champion. I think I'll, uh, it will be all right. Worst case scenario, you'll be battling P Team Plasma's boss, and I need you, or I need to know if you can handle it. Okay, so here we go, guys. Battle number eight against, uh, yeah, this guy, Cher. He says he's our friend. I call him an acquaintance. All right, so here he goes, coming out with four Pokemon, and he's gonna be coming out with his Unpheasant. Look at that, fully evolved, level 43. But I got my man right here, Drillmonger. Oh yeah, Drillmonger's gonna kill you. Right here, Rock Slide. And, oh wow. Is, did it, it just used Detect, what the hell? Okay, you want to be Strategic Magic? Here we go, Rock Slide. That's right, buddy. Look at that. Oh, crud. Okay, so it, it flinched, but it survived. So here we go again, another Rock Slide. Finish this po this, this, this chicken of the, of the sky right here. And look at that. No more chicken of the sky, look at that. Alrighty, okay, and... Coming out with a semi-poor. I got the Pokemon for your ass, where are you, Ace? My Stoutland from Scotland. Alrighty. Stoutland from Scotland, alrighty. And we got semi-poor right here, okay, what's up, what's up? Here we go, Thunderbolt! You're going down. And, what the hell did it just do? It just used Leer, so... I guess that will work on me, but here we go with a Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, and that paralyzes this uh, this Pokemon right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use another Thunderbolt again. Finish him off. Alrighty, alrighty, look at that. Oh crap, baskets. Still not going down right here, but it's paralyzed still. Let's go again and a Thunderbolt. Finish him off. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty, okay, look at that. And he's coming out with a Superior, so I'm gonna go straight for Sigh of the Torrent. Yes, I know, I know. It's a type disadvantage, but I kind of want to use him. Let's go right ahead, fully evolved Pokemon, starter versus starter, just like it started. You know what I mean? Look at that, level 45, but I got a secret move for you, X Scissors. And this guy's gonna be going for a Coil Attack right here, which will increase its accuracy and its attack, I would like to say, right? Yes. And it's defense. Oh wow. Okay, but here we go, X Scissors. And that was super effective, but of course this Pokemon is a little stronger than usual. And yeah, I'm not going to take that chance right there. So let's go switch out to to Hotshot right here. Okay, Hotshot. Do your thing. I know your defense sucks, but Leaf Blade probably won't. Well, I won't have a super effectiveness. Look at that. 
And, well, it does have leftovers, so it's, of course, you know, it's a, yeah, healing up pretty pretty good right there. So let's go, Flare Blitz, just finish this guy off with a Fatality, and here comes a Slam Attack, and... Nearly takes us out, but here we go, Flare Blitz, Sacrifice Move. And there goes Superior, and I guess Hotshot's gonna go down too. Yep, it did its thing, it really did. Alrighty, but Shatter grows to level 44, Sigh of the Torrent gets all those, those HP, so let's go with Sigh right here. Okay. Alright, Lightbird. You look at all mean and everything. That's one mean old pussy. My Pokemon and I will have the energy, we'll use all our energy. Okay, so uh, let's go with Revenge right here. Of course, he's gonna be using some kind of speed tactic on me. What the hell's the matter with you? Check this mustache on my or on my uh, my side. Pretty awesome. And there we go with the revenge. And that nearly takes care of a Lyford right there, but this guy is still alive. Okay. Let's go waterfall. And uh, crap baskets night night slash and stuff. Okay, here we go waterfall. Finish him off for the win. Suck on that, Psy. Or, I mean, <laughs> whatever your, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, pussy and all that stuff. And look at that. My Pokemon are victorious. And yeah, thank you. You're truly great. Yes, you finally recognize that stuff. And, well, yep, you are something else. And I mean that sincerely. Right. Now I have to make your uh, Pokemon healthy. And of course, he will heal our Pokemon. That's a good thing about him. Right now, there's no way I can compete with you, Draven. If there's anything I can do to help in the battle with Anne, just say so. Bianca's like, Draven, there's not much I can help you, but I want you to have these. Man, you see, get yourself a best friend like like Bianca. She'll help you out. I, I, I did say there's a limited amount of max revives, but this girl right here, she came through for us. I really do appreciate you. And she's like, still, it's kind of funny. Everyone is so different. Funny? At a time like this? Come on, Sharon, could you smile for uh, for just once? Seriously, man, just smile. Taking it or taking everything so seriously all that time isn't going to change anything. You know, since we're we've met our Pokémon, we walked the same roads together, a lot has happened. We've ch we've all changed a lot. We all found out that things we want to do and the things we can do are different uh, for each of us, right? That's what makes our journey so worth it. Somehow, all of this just makes me happy. So, that's what you mean. You are right that all, or that we're all different and we should do things uh, that, we can, that we can do. There are so many truths and ideals as there are, are people in Pokemon that uh, the most important thing is that we can help one, one another out. Uh, let's see, that's why people and Pokemon are always by each other's side. That's what I've uh, I've come to, uh, to think lately. Really? Well, you never smile. You really don't. Draven, if anything happens to you in all, or Alder, I will do everything or everything I can do to help you. That's why I kept uh, training and getting stronger. Just don't be reckless, okay? I do what I want, Jaren, okay? I do what I want. I'm flipping you off, and Bianca, you know what? You're still my girl right here. He's gone. Draven. Me too. I'll do my best uh, to help if I can. Oh yeah, so, um, I wish I could say something like totally inspiring, you know? Um, okay, best foot forward. You know, that's all the words that I need. You're the inspiration to me, okay? I'm not flipping you off. You're my Biffle. You're my girl. Okay, so let's continue on our adventure right here and, uh, well, get attacked by many other Pokemon right here, like this guy. A lot of fungus. So many funguses, and oh wow, this is the evolved form, Amoongus. Amoongus, looking like a big ol' Pokeball, filled with fungus. Might kill you, might heal you, I don't know, that's where Pokeballs are made, or healing items are made, I, I think. Okay, let's see, is this it? Nope, we're getting attacked again. Okay, so there we go, another Pokemon attack. Drumonger, get ready to kick some ass right here. And well, run it. Let's run away. Yes, we don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. And here we go. Hyper Potion. Yes, sir. We're getting more items and another 
Oh, yeah, look at it! A Dawnstone, finally! Probably the only Dawnstone you'll ever find around here, I could be wrong. And let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Mwah! <laughs> I will leave here for Victory Road. It's my hobby to win against trainers. Oh, wow. Okay, alrighty. Okay. So here we go! Black Belt Quarry would like to battle, and he's coming out with a sock. Trying to sock me right here. Sock it to we, sock it to me. And, well, we're coming out with the good old buddy, Drillmonger, right here. And, well, let's go right ahead with the Nerf Quick, because you know what? It's powerful, it's awesome. And hopefully it might defeat this guy right here. Come on, go down. Damn it. Of course, he's going to be going with Bulk Up, and, well... Uh, alrighty. Let's go right ahead and use a uh, Metal Claws right here. Let's go. Okay, alrighty. Okay, look at that! And just like that, Cory has been defeated. I'm feeling good about this. Really, really good. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna be... Well, in this episode right here, we're just gonna be going through the outskirts. Next episode... Well, going into the Pokemon League, guys, I'm gonna give you a heads up right now. It's gonna be, what? This, next, following... It's probably gonna be like three or four episodes to get to the Pokemon League because there is one more thing within Victory Road that we still need to do. If you guys don't remember, and well, the episodes dropped today, there's a legendary Pokemon close by. So, yeah, we might be doing that, and we might be capturing the last of the, uh, the, the physical Pokemon that, you know, are, you know, the legendary Pokemon of this whole region right here. So, can't wait for that one, and look at that. Girder has been... Oh, crap, the Dynamic Punch, and wow. Dynamic Punch. Ooh, takes me out with just one hit. And, of course, Rocky Helmet will always hit him back, but... Drillmonger's getting his butt kicked right here. Oh, like, crap. Okay, so let's go with Gigalift. Come on, Gigalift. Destroy him. Right here with a Psychic Attack. Look at that. Psychic Attack does it. And uh, no more Girder. Do not insert the Gurger onto that guy right there. And look at that. Gigalift grows to level 45. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Bulldore right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out to Sign of the Torrent. Finish this guy off right here. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so Boulder. Looking like a, a big old Boulder right here. Let's go with the Grass Knot because we already know of its sturdy technique. One hit KOs will not do it. And, well, that was a one hit KO right there. Sturdy nearly. Well, yeah. Sturdy just saves it. And, well, let's go right ahead with the waterfall right now. Yeah, buddy. Waterfall. Let's go, let's go. Okay, alrighty. And, look at that. Brett has been defeated. He is not the Hitman Heart. And, well, let's go right ahead and just start healing our Pokemon right here. Let's see, let's see. Usually, usually by the time we hit the Elite Four, that's where everybody just stops their adventure right there because it's a little bit more... It's a little, it's a little different from uh, regular Pokemon battles or Pokemon League battles. Um, you don't necessarily have to face the champion just yet. You're actually going to be facing and the plot thickens right over there. And uh, let's see. You made it this far. Well done. That's an impressive accomplishment. To show you respect, I feel... Oh, crap. Okay, so he gives us a dus dusk stone. I thought he was going to heal us right there. I would have been like, man, now I feel stupid for healing my Pokemon like that. And yes, the dust stone will actually evolve certain Pokemon. One of them being Lampent in the, Celemp uh, the Celestic Tower. And luckily for us, we don't have that. And here we have the TMO5 Roar, which we won't be using. Now, like I was saying, once you head into the Elite Four, you beat them, you won't be facing Alder just yet. You're actually going to be facing N, spoiler alert. And then after that, that's where, you know, quote unquote, the, the whole thing finishes. But technically, you're not the actual champion. And that's where I usually stop because I get a little bored. But. Trust me, guys, there will be more uh, after-game stuff after this. And before we battle her, I'm going to grab this right here. Look at that. We found ourselves another full restore. We got two more battles. Alrighty, okay. So, yeah. Um, that's where I usually stop this walk right here. It's at the end of the Pokemon League battle right there. Uh, before I made the whole switch, before I made a whole switch uh, in, in uh, my Draven XC711 channel to 
Gym Leader Draven. I was going to come back to Pokemon Black, and I was going to um, continue this adventure with the after-game stuff. But then I, you know, I kind of, you know, I kind of went, steered one way, I steered the other way. I think I came out with a Leaf Green walk through, and then I, I got myself a uh, Capture Curd, and I managed to get myself a Pokemon Y. You know, I, 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 I just, you know, I steered off to a whole bunch of different things, and then, uh, yeah, and that's what happened, and what the hell just happened right there? Alrighty, there we go. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what, that's, that's that is exactly what happened. Uh, you know, I didn't finish this whole walkthrough, especially in the first, uh, first ever one. I just thought that, you know what, I'm just gonna end it right here, and I'm gonna go into the next walkthrough, which would probably have been... Shoo, 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 shoo. I think it was, like, I don't even remember for the, the very, very first uh, walkthrough. And look at that. Jellicent. A big ass Jellicent. Holy crap. It's a big ass one. But like I said, guys, yeah. This this walkthrough will be is going to be completely different. It already is. I'm doing a lot of stuff just to Oh wow, she's powering me up. I'm already doing all the all the stuff to actually get to the final few episodes right here. We're almost done with this walkthrough, believe it or not. It took us like maybe two weeks. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you suck! Okay, surf attack. We'll power it up and everything. And... Okay, so that doesn't do anything. And here comes that Brian attack. Ah, Jesus. Okay. So yeah, guys. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff that, you know, I have planned. I've already started recording Pokemon X. Many of you guys were probably just wondering, Hey, aren't you going to let us choose, uh, choose your starter? Not in this game. This is the game that, believe it or not, in the 3DS games, probably one of my favorite uh, regions. Actually, yeah, f favorite region outside of Johto and Kanto. So let's go right ahead and switch out right here. And battle this guy right here. What does he have to say? I've seen a lot of trainers. You seem to have the same aura that I felt from the, from the strong trainers. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Going up against veteran Chester. What's up, Chester? And he's coming out with a bear tick. Oh, crud. As you guys probably already know, in Victory Road, you will be seeing a lot of Pokemon that, you know, are fully evolved. And, you know, kind of gives you a little bit of, uh, you know, what the hell? A little faster than me. Kind of give you a little bit of rights for your money and stuff, because they, they, they will be very, very, very strong. And here we go. Revenge. Lots of experience points as well, guys. Should take advantage of all that stuff right there. And well, here we go with the seismic toad. This is the first time we're looking at the seismic toad. And well, let's see. Actually, I don't have a actually I do have a Pokemon for that. Okay. Let's go with a grass knot, because of course seismic toad is both a ground and water type Pokemon. And look at that, Seismic Toad down for the count. Big old bulgy looking mother lover right there. And he's gonna come out with Excavil Excavalier. It's Cavalier, Ex Excavalier. Can't even pronounce that name. So let's go with Hotshot right here. Let's go. Hotshot. With its uh, fiery eyebrows of doom. And Excav Excavalier. Oh wow, okay, so let's see, Fire Punch? Sorry, I'm trying not to kill a uh, Hotshot just yet. I don't even know if the Pokemon likes me very much. And bam, look at that. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Chester has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see, is there anything else? No, actually, we're gonna stop right here. Uh, we just made it to the, uh, the badge check gates. Open the gates to change history. Alrighty, so... We're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be going through the Victory Road, the first part of Victory Road, and then, you know, hopefully continuing everything else in between. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.